My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have a 1976 Chrysler Cordoba Survivor, 9,500 actual miles. Of course, it has the fine Corinthian leather seats, and they happen to be bucket seats with a center console and a floor shifter. It's an all-original Survivor car. And I apologize, Ricardo Montalban is no longer with us to do this video, so I'll do the best that I can. Visit volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures, and get the price, not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in this big old land yacht. Uh, the cars of this era, these big luxury cars, are very much in demand these days, especially the low mile survivor cars. There's a lot of nostalgia. People my age, we remember these cars. I mentioned Ricardo Montalban. If you're too young to know what I'm talking about, uh, he was an actor from Fantasy Island TV show, which you probably don't know what I'm talking about if you're young. Uh, but anyway, they had a very successful ad campaign, and he was the spokesperson. And he was the one that talked about the fine Corinthian leather. Uh, he was asked on a talk show, I think a Johnny Carson show, what is Corinthian leather? And he said nothing. It just sounded good. Uh, but anyway, uh, this car here underneath is just original, so it's not pretty. It's not painted and glossy and beautiful, but don't be fooled. It's rock solid. There's no rot. There'll be surface rust on metal components and that, but it's rock solid under there. car came from down south. Actually, it's had the same owner since 1978 till just recently. Uh, disc brakes up front, has a 727 Torque Flight Automatic, uh, and everything underneath the car looks real good. The body and paint's all original. Considering it's original, I think it's excellent. It's not a show quality paint job, but it's excellent for a survivor. If you look down both sides of the car, it is absolutely straight. There's no rust, no bubbles, no rust. There's a scratch right here touched up. There's a dimple. Uh, in the body right there. The hood fits perfectly square. Under these lights, it's a little little cloudy and little tiny, tiny little pimples on it, so it's not perfect anymore. But outside in the sun, we're standing back three feet. It looks real nice. A couple more little nicks touched up. It's got the turn signals up here. They do work. It has this uh, pretty cool stripe, kind of a 70s style uh, stripe going down the side the optional rub strips, but again, no rust. Maybe a couple little rock chips, but no rust, no damage. I don't see any dents. This side's arrow straight. There is a wheel on the door. I have no idea. Well, I have a guess. Maybe when he opened the door, didn't want it to bump anything, but there's a wheel on the door. I've never seen that in my life. Uh, the vinyl top is in excellent shape. Rear window, defroster, the glass is excellent. This is all very nice. The chrome has some freckling. It's all shiny, straight chrome. Everything fits right. It's never been hit, never been apart. There's more of that 70s style striping here. Tail lights are mint. All this stuff's really nice. The, the fillers, the rubber fillers are excellent. Uh, I guess I'll call them rally wheels. They're in really nice shape. The tires are, are more recent. They're Cooper tires. They're not that old at all. Uh, yeah, the top is excellent. The opera lights work. If they come on when you open the door, I think you turn the lights on and those come on. There's a little dimple right here in the trim, but this is not beat up. Windshield's real nice and clear. So yeah, the outside of the car shows really well. The uh, hood opens from inside. I'll pop that. Motor compartment's never been detailed, but it is the 400 four barrel. I was just reading up on these cars, and it said the early ones with the 400 four barrel are actually very collectible. That's what we have here. So this is all original condition. It's air conditioning. 
uh, power steering, power brakes, cruise control, does have a Mopar battery in it, still has all its stickers in place. So it's a good preserved original. You could spend some time under here. I'd replace the hood insulation and I would do some very careful touch-ups. You can make that look real nice. It has sport mirrors. The interior, as soon as I heard it had bucket seats with a floor shifter, I'm like, I'm in, I want the car. Uh, this is one of the options, completely carpeted trunk, tire cover, and look at that spare. Never been used, so has the ink on the tread, probably never been out of the car, the jack assembly is all still shiny. The trunk compartment's excellent, the light works, the rubber's still soft. The interior is excellent. All nice white interior. So the fronts of the seats are leather, the rest are vinyl. There's like three stitches coming apart right there. They're net is really nice, plush carpets, door panels mint. Some of the plastic uh, needs to be re-dyed. It's a little fading going on in a couple places on each door panel. In upholstery, I can easily dye that to match. Steering wheel, the dash area is pristine. The center console is excellent. All the seat belts are excellent. The fog lights are stupid. I would take those off if I were keeping the car. It has grills over the headlights, but everything up front's nice. You got a big chrome grill, original antenna. In the glove box, it's got the Z-Bart sticker. It was Z-Barted. But we've got the owner's manual pouch with all the different literature and uh, original paperwork pertaining to the car, some insurance uh, cards with the owner's name on it going way back when. It's all in the glove box here. All this trim, the headliner's real nice. There's one yellow spot right in the middle that might clean up. Ashtray's clean. Cigarette lighter's never used. It's not, not a smoker car. Not been smoked in. So let's see if she runs. Cruise control, tilt wheel, eight track player, and it works. It's playing the eight track as I pulled in. Playing through all the speakers. We got Elvis going there. Oh, it comes with extra eight tracks in the center console too. And a 1975 map. 9,554 miles as of right now. Got some old oil change stickers in the uh, door jam, I think there's one going all the way back to like 1976. And the rubber is real nice, door jams are real nice. We did just service the car. Uh, go to volocars.com, read my description. I don't have it in front of me, but we just had the radiator record. We actually sent this out to another shop and had it mechanically serviced. So that part of it's in really good. Uh, working order. A little interior die on the door panels, little detailing under the hood, and you'd have a really excellent survivor. Cool car, Cordoba, bucket seats, Corinthian leather, and it's the 400 four barrel motor. Visit volocars.com. I just gave you my impression of this car. If you have specific concerns or questions, plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. They will also help with financing, delivery, and the paperwork. They'll make that real easy for you at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you will be the first to see the next video posted. Thanks for watching.